Hi, Dave Heimke here at Filer. Uh, out evaluating plots for the end of the year, and I came across an observation that I think we need to share. Uh, this year, uh, spider mites came in very late. Uh, honestly, for the most part, uh, going through the year, depending upon your location, of course, as I ran through the PNW, uh, some places they were much worse than others, but for the whole, uh, man, I thought spider mites were relatively light, and then we got to the later part of the year, and boy, they came in with a vengeance. Uh, this happens to be a very late uh, product that we planted, a silage product, and, and what I think is interesting, if you look off to the side is where we had some wheat. West Brett had their trials. So the wheat came off and the mites, like they do everywhere, came moving out of that wheat as it matured and got cut into our corn. And they just came in with, like I say, with a vengeance, came in a little late. Uh, as you can see behind me, we've got where they came in first, look at how the progression, how short that corn is to just a few rows, how that came up. Now there's eight rows, border rows on the other side of that, so that's not an edge effect, that's mites. If you go in there and you look at it, uh, that whole crop is, their leaf canopy is all speckled uh, from the mites, extremely bad. I, I show you this just to show the difference that those mites make as they come in. They came in late, and uh, like I said, the later the maturing product, the worse it got hit. Uh, these are things we have to watch. Uh, I, I pretty much thought we were in the clear with mites this year in a lot of areas, but boy, they absolutely hurt us pretty bad on yield in some areas, both in ear size on the grain guys, the kernel depth, you add that with that smoke, it's really going to hurt us bad. And then, of course, silage, we lost that ear size and the height that we got on the other side. So my recommendation to you guys is, is watch it close. Uh, I, I tell people when I'm speaking at different places, I'm as cheap as you get, and I don't like spraying ever if I don't see the pest. And I usually target spider mites, just, you know, if they're about one, maybe two leaves below the ear leaf, I'm going to say, hey, it's time to spray. But this year they weren't there, and then they came in late. Uh, and then as you get closer to maturity, you can oftentimes can hold off and not spray. It's kind of a race to the end. Who's going to win, the mites or you? Uh, Anyway, on a product like this, or you know, a late product, late silage product coming into the ear next to a wheat field coming off and the mites moved in, um, I absolutely think we should have put a little over on on this crop. Uh, it would have cleaned up those mites and, and really helped us out. When we're, when we're running into later applications of, of insecticides, miticides, always check to make sure your, your pre-harvest interval is there. Some products have a little longer pre-harvest in interval and you can't, won't make it on a silage shop. So always make sure you check that. The other thing I'm going to say about uh, spider mite applications is, is it's a very, very good thing to rotate our, our products. Um, if you've been using one product for, uh, say, three, four years, you know, come in with Oberon or something else, mix it up. Let's get a different product out there so we don't build resistance. Those spider mites are, are nasty little buggers and, and, and they seem like as, as uh, in certain areas, some of the old chemistries we're using, we're starting to see a little re resistance and we're forced to use higher and higher rates of chemistry. So again, uh, if you're not using Oberon, I would highly suggest putting it on. Always check your pre-harvest interval. And, and like I said, I, I pretty much stopped watching this. I thought we were out of the, the woods and just look how nasty they, they came in and, and took that yield away. So something to watch for next year. Um, I'm going to start pulling the trigger on the mites a little bit sooner. Uh, hope that helps and hope to see you again sometime.